Hello, Marvelites. You're watching Marvel's The Pull List, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent Dad. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we read every Marvel comic that comes out. We pick a couple that we get hyped about, pick a topic, and we tell you why we're so hyped. Tucker, what are we talking about this week? Ryan, you came up with the title this week, and this week we're talking Snickter Doodles. That's right, Bob. That's <laughs> we've picked four books that star. Wolverine, uh, he's back and uh, he's starring in some great comics this week. We're starting with Return of Wolverine number five. This is the final issue of the limited series written by Charles Soule uh, with amazing art by Steve McNiven. This is a really, really fascinating tie-up issue because it dives really deep into the psychological side of his return of Persephone, a really amazing villain that we've seen fleshed out in really fascinating ways over these five issues. How they collide, how Logan's past comes into play, uh, and how he kind of spins off now uh, back into the 616, back into uh, the X-Men and everything else that we'll see in the, the other three books. Yeah, Steve McNiven's Barry Windsor Smith-esque art, I just, I wanna eat it up, I wanna put on a little hamburger, nom, 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 nom. And the way he draws, Wolverine's nose, like it looks like he, it's been broken, immediately healed, broken, immediately healed, broken, immediately healed. What's really cool is that issue, the end of that issue, dives right into the beginning of Wolverine and the Infinity Watch number one. So if you're gonna read both, and you should read both, read Return of Wolverine number five first, and then dive right into this. Wolverine, he's now, he's back, and we see immediately what's going on with him, uh, and it involves Loki and it involves the Infinity Stones, and it involves a whole bunch of Mishigas that he does not want to be a part of. You've got the Phoenix tied up into it. You've got sort of the fate of the future of the universe potentially tied up to it. And I mean, well, I got to show you this cover again, because look at it. It's his claws snicking out of the Infinity Gauntlet. Ah, I guess no better than that. So cool. Uh, another really awesome combination of things comes in Hulk Vereens, number one. Uh, the meat of this issue comes in seeing Weapon H, which is uh, this really great, relatively new character, Clay, here. He has a clash, which is so awesome with the Hulk. Uh, to see that go down, it's something that I've been really excited to see because Weapon H is kind of a mixture of Wolverine's powers and the Hulk's powers. And then, of course, uh, the man of the hour now, he, he shows up in a really awesome, kind of goosebumpy little moment, uh, which I really love. But yeah, it's a great start to, uh, to a really, really exciting series. Yeah, I, I loved it. I also loved Uncanny X-Men number 12. And this one, you can see he's right there, front and center on the cover, along with Cyclops. Unfortunately, the rest of the X-Men are seemingly dead. And so it's the two of them trying to pick up the pieces and figure out how to move on. What is the future of mutant kind? And they realize that there are other mutants out there. So it's really cool. You've got Wolverine digging out bullets from Cyclops's back and like healing them up at the beginning of the, the comic. And then they go through trying to save some of their friends and family. So it's a, an intense, emotional, action-packed issue. There's Sentinels, there's Wolverine letting loose, being awesome. Uh, Cyclops getting some really cool moments and it's, it's a whole lot of fun. These are great Wolverine comics, but there's so many more that came out this week. If you want to learn more about all the new Marvel comics, you're going to have to check out Marvel's The Polis, the podcast version, wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll be back next week with more awesome puns like Snickerdoodles. Oh, you're going to love it. Uh, okay. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe. <laughs>